published, 524 EDT, April 12, 2018, updated, 1437 EDT, April 12, 2018 Thomas Patton threatened to hurt the woman's family if she did not meet him a obsessed rapist who imprisoned a woman in his house for days and used her, a sex slave told her. This is going to be the worst night of your life. Thomas Patton, 21, of Huddersfield, West Yorkshire, threatened to hurt the woman's family and damage their property if she didn't agree to meet him. She went to his home after a food and drink festival in the town, but once she was inside he locked the door and snapped her mobile phone in half. Leeds Crown Court heard he told her, Nah, you're not going anywhere. This is going to be the worst night of your life. I'm just gonna beat you and rape you. Stephen Wood, prosecuting, said, locked in that house, she, went to the windows and was banging on them screaming, but the defendant ran over to her, put his hand over her mouth and threw her onto the sofa. He told her that if she did not shut the F up he would have been hurt her dog Patton, who in the past had told the woman she was nothing but a dog, slapped her repeatedly and even brandished a knife before telling her he was going to use her as a sex slave, he raped her repeatedly over the following days. The woman went to the home of Patton, pictured, after a food and drink festival in the town, but once she was inside he locked the door and snapped her mobile phone in half she escaped after her concerned father came to the door in the morning of the second day she was held captive. Patton opened the door and the woman ran out. Patton was found guilty of repeatedly raping her, keeping her prisoner and assaulting her, but he was also not guilty of two counts of rape, which were alleged to have taken place months before she was held captive. A jury took about two hours to return their verdict on the seventh day of a trial. Nah, you're not going anywhere, this is going to be the worst night of your life. I'm just gonna beat you and rape you the woman, who cannot be identified for legal reasons, was medically examined in hospital and faced more than three hours of questioning in court. Patton, who had admitted criminal damage in relation to the mobile phone, claimed that the sex was consensual and that the woman enjoys rough sex apostrophe. Several witnesses gave evidence in court claiming the woman had told them she was lying about the allegations. The not guilty verdicts were in relation to earlier alleged offenses against the same woman. Patton was remanded in custody and will be sentenced on May.